one of the biggest challenges that we face is that of dual stimulation. It is often marketed across and often said that it is a, a new technique, a technique that will give us a lot of eggs. But let me show you an example where a dual stimulation may work. Now, this is a picture at egg collection. And what you, you are looking at is you're looking at antral follicles. These are your antral follicles. And these are the small follicles, which are seven to eight millimeter after egg collection. Now, if you have given an analog trigger, and if you have decided that uh, you are going to do a dual stimulation, then what do you need? You, you need these antral follicles that can help you to decide whether you can stimulate the ovary. Now, if you don't see these, you don't see five or six of this, then doing a dual stimulation is useless. You're not, you're not going to generate eggs or follicles when there are none there. You can only stimulate follicles which you can see on a scan. If you see four follicles on a scan, that's a maximum you can stimulate. So when you decide to do dual stimulation, be careful. See how many follicles are present and provided you're given an analog trigger, you can do dual stimulation. And in those cases, it works. In cases where you do not see these follicles, and again, remember the size, follicles which are five millimeter and above will always get stimulated better. These follicles, which are much smaller, stimulate less and may not grow at all. One, because they're just too small and they're more resistant to stimulation. Thank you.